Hello lovelies and I am back with my second plan with me for 2019 and um, this week again I am using a hummingbird planner kit Um I'm using the bloom deluxe kit I actually really like her kits and to be honest I could probably get away with buying the what's it what does she call them there's a kit she does this is the deluxe one which has five sheets and she does one that has three and in all honesty, I could probably get away with getting the three sheet one from now on because half of my kit last week, like I didn't use any of these heart checklists. Um, I used the washi strip at the bottom. I didn't really use many of these. Um, I've used some bits from that and then some bits from that. So I really only needed maybe like these bits um, were the main bits I needed. But I am going to plan out my second week um, this is a look back on last week so I didn't some things I ticked off like my checklist but then other things I just kind of left unticked because I thought it looked neater and looked nicer I didn't end up using this sidebar I might try and make a bit of use of, out of it this week um, by maybe putting my meal plan in here somewhere um, I'm not sure and then maybe I might try and put like a um, <clears throat> some of my habit trackers as well to see how I'm getting on because I want to start reading before bed every night and um, there's like a couple of other things that I want to make sure that I'm doing so I am going to stop waffling on I'm going to put something on my iPad and get get going
be a couple of decorative stickers here and there to do lists. Um, I need to figure out what I'm putting on Saturday because there's not that much planned for Saturday. Um, but I'll go fill it out and I'll come back to you. This is everything I've put in for the minute for my week. I've still got a couple of little spaces here um, and at the bottom here. I've tried to add a bit more into my side bar, um, so I've basically just put what I'm going to have for my dinners for the week. Um, I haven't planned them out yet, but I'm going to do this after that because I feel it's Slimming World. Um, so I will put the dinners in kind of once I plan them out on my meal planner and um, that's where that's empty. And then I've literally just taken um, on where the bottom washi is, you also get these washi strips. Um, so I've used an entire box of washi strips. Um, just for a bit of a break but next time I think I'll put a bit of a gap in between instead of putting it like right underneath because I didn't have loads to put underneath here um, and then I've also put a read at night because my two main things I want to follow this week for habit trackers are read every night at night instead of going on my phone or my iPad and watching something um, and being on plan for at least six days out of the seven that is my aim for this week um, so if you want me to do any more Slimming World related videos, I can. Um, I can film them and do like food diaries and meal plans and stuff like that. Um, but just leave that in the comments below what I've got all my shifts in. Um, for some of the days that um, like I'm in work all day, I've put like little tasks like um, a blog post that's going to go up that day and then I want to edit two videos which I obviously won't get done after work but what I might end up doing is doing some of it today or doing some of it like I put it there to fill a gap type of thing um, and then I've got to do this there because Tuesday because I'm not in work the next day I'll often do quite a few things and then if not I'll do them the morning of Wednesday um, and then I've just got like a little thing movie nights my workouts I've tried this week to So this week what I've actually done is where I've put workouts, I've actually put what workout I want to do um, because then I'm hoping that I can plan out my workouts a bit more um, and I can like things like I don't really want to work out my arms right before I do a shift because my work includes a lot of manual handling and lifting people so I don't want to be going into work with very sore arms. But I'm hoping that if I plan out what I want to do for each workout, it will make me more to work out. Um, and then on the days when I'm not doing like a workout, I want to do at least some sort of exercise every day um, to get that body magic in to my day and get it more of like a habit. Um, I've just realised now that this sticker is also crooked. Well, to me from this angle, it looks crooked, so I apologise for that as well. Um, and then I've just got a couple of things dotted in about, but I quite like the layout. Um, I really liked my layout from last week and um, I just wished I'd put a bit more there but I do really like it. The only thing I didn't like about this kit was the bottom washi because it's like a marble effect you can, to me, I don't know if you can see it on the camera but I can actually see these lines at the bottom here on the washi um, so yeah but I hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me and um, hopefully I'm going to get everything done that I want for the week. I'm hoping by having a more simplified planner it's gonna stop me getting they've called it millennial burnout but basically it's gonna stop me getting so overwhelmed by my to-do list by just having a couple of main things to do every day so like Saturday my main things to do are take blog photos, meal plan, do a workout and work on the blog posts. Obviously there's gonna be a lot of other things um, and that's why I have this planner where I basically put in like a proper day. It has like um, it has like a to-do list type thing. So if I've got more things that I know I want to 